Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Alan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a lead guitar tutorial over the song Gone by Elevation Worship. Be sure to check down in the description. Down there I have a link to a free chord chart you guys can follow along with. And I'm going to be teaching this in the uh, key of A, which is a half step lower than the original recorded key of B flat. Uh, the only reason that I'm doing that is just so whenever I make the cover video it won't be too high for me to sing. But if you do want to play this in the original key of B flat, just move everything up one fret from what I show you. Um, so, <laughs> and also I'll be making a cover video of me playing this lead guitar part through the whole song. And also I have other videos for the acoustic part and the uh, piano part if you guys are interested. Alright, so for the intro we're going to start off with just this kind of like muted strumming thing that sounds like this. So obviously that's pretty straightforward, um, but we're just going to play that on beat two. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we'll do that four times. And after that, we go to this little um, pull off riff that sounds like this. So to walk you through that, we're going to pull off on the 12th fret of the B string to the uh, 10th fret of the B. So we'll do that uh, three times in a row. Then we'll go up to the 9th fret of the E, then we'll pull off again, and then hit the 10th fret two more times. So slowly it is. Okay, then we just do that four times in a row, so here's what it sounds like. And for the tone of that, notice it's really kind of rolled off. And you'll notice that in the recording, too, it's um, really kind of uh, using the neck pickup and then the tone knob sort of rolled off. So it just has this kind of real sort of kind of mellow in the background sort of sound. And that's it for the intro. Then for verse 1, we're going to play a really similar riff. Uh, the only difference is that it won't go up to that ninth fret of the E every single time. Um, so since it switches between 3-4 and 4-4, in our measures of 3-4, we're just going to only do the pull-off part. So we'll go... So we'll go... So that's one, two, three. Then the measure of four, four will go one, two, three, four. So there it does go up to that ninth fret of the E. So that's the only thing to watch out for. So I'm going to go ahead and play through um, all of verse one one time for you. One, two, three, four. That's what that part sounds like. Then for chorus one, we'll have a pretty simple lead line that we'll play, and it's going to sound like this. We'll go. So to walk you guys through that, we're going to start off on the 11th fret of the G. I'm going to use my ring finger. Then we'll go to the 10th fret of the B. Then the 12th fret of the B. And the ninth fret of the E, and back to the tenth fret of the B. So a little faster, that's. Then for the next half, we just won't play that tenth fret on the B, we'll go. And just let this ninth fret ring. So I'm going to go ahead and play through this chorus one time for you guys, and I'll kind of count along. So we have one, two, three, four, one. Then we'll go down to an A chord and just kind of let that ring out for two measures on that A chord down there. And that's it for chorus one. Then on verse two, we're pretty much going to play the same thing that we did on verse one, that little um, pull-off riff that we did. Then at the very end of uh, verse two, we're going to go up to the 17th fret of the E string and the 18th fret of the G. 
and we'll play this. We'll go. Then we'll go down to the 16th on the G and 16th on the E. And then 14th on the G and E. And down to the 9th rhythm, both those strings. So that part sounds like this. Sorry, it's raining outside, so my dog is like <laughs> kind of restless here, but uh, he's just hanging out. Uh, so that's it for kind of the end of that verse. So I'm going to go ahead and play through the entire verse 2 for you one time for you. One, two, three. That's it for verse 2. Then chorus 2 is pretty much the same thing we played through on the uh, first chorus, but I'll go ahead and play through it one time for you just so you can kind of put it all together. So one, two, three, four. it for chorus two. Then that brings us to the bridge and this part's just going to start off on an A chord and we'll just let it ring for one beat and then kind of cut out for a little bit after that. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Then we'll rest for uh, three measures. Then after that we're going to come back in on a D over C sharp chord which sounds like this. So we'll hit the fourth fret of the A string with the first finger, uh, seventh fret of the D string with the pinky, and the sixth fret of the G with the ring finger. We'll let those ring for two beats. Then we'll go up to D over, or sorry, just a D chord. And this will be the fifth fret of the A string, seventh fret of the D, and then the seventh fret of the B with the pinky. And we'll go to A major, so fifth fret of the E, seventh fret of the A, seventh fret of the D, and the sixth fret of the G. Let that ring for four beats. Then we'll go down to an F sharp minor bar chord. So we'll lay that uh, first finger across the second fret of all the strings, and then the ring finger on the fourth fret of the A, and the pinky on the fourth fret of the D. Then we're back to D, back to A. So let me play just the chord part for you so far here. So we have one, two, three, four. After that, we'll have this uh, kind of like lead line that we'll play, and it's going to go like this. So to walk you through that, we'll hit the 14th fret of the E string. I'm going to use my ring finger, then we'll go to the 12th fret of the E, to the 13th fret of the G, back to the 14th fret of the G again. 14th fret of the E, down to the 11th fret, <laughs> sorry, of the G, and then the 14th fret of the G, 13th fret of the G, back to the 14th. Okay, so I'm going to go to the very um, beginning of this bridge. I'll kind of skip those measures of rest, but I'll come in on the D over C sharp chord and then play from there through the rest of the bridge for you one time. One, two, three, four.
and that's it for the bridge. Then the third time through the chorus is pretty much the same thing as the other choruses, but I'll just play this one time for you. The only difference is we're going to cut out for four measures, and then after those four measures, we'll come in with our chorus riff. So here's what this sounds like. One, two, three, four. That's it for chorus three. Then lastly, we have the outro riff, and basically it's just the same thing that we did kind of on the intro. So I'm just going to play through this outro one time for you, and uh, that'll wrap this one up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And that's it for the outro. So guys, that's going to go ahead and uh, finish this tutorial video up. Hopefully this video helps you guys learn the song, and hopefully you find the uh, tab helpful as well. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, this song was a lot of fun to learn, and uh, hopefully you guys are playing this at church. It's a really fun song to play. Um, I guess that's it. I think that'll wrap it up for today. Be sure to uh, hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. And if you're not subscribed, you can always subscribe. I put out uh, new tutorials every single week, just about. And uh, also, if you want to hit the notification bell, that'll keep you from missing any future videos. So be sure to do that if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching.